along the roll. Copy. And you can hear and uh, see for your own uh, self uh, the fact that the Soyuz is rolling into the right orientation as it uh, enters the final phase of its fly around uh, for its precise alignment to the Poisk module to which it will be docking to about 19 minutes from now. There is a view from one of the external cameras on the International Space Station as uh, the Soyuz is in sight, looking very stable, approaching the point uh, where it will begin about seven minutes of station keeping at a distance of some 180 meters from its docking port, enabling the Russian flight control team here in Korolyov to have an opportunity to assess the precise, al precise alignment of the forward docking probe on the uh, Soyuz vehicle with the Poisk module docking mechanism. Confirm the readiness for the final approach. Start, okay, please. Enter 31 000 47 13. I entered. Okay, standing by. We are seeing the approach, approach, copy. Please don't forget to enter the three zero 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 forty seven one three. Have you issued the command? Austria? Please repeat the command. 31000-4713. We are entering the next command. Please just enter it, but do not issue it yet. Once again, uh, the cross-haired external black and white TV camera on the Soyuz with engineering data overlaid for the benefit of the Russian flight uh, control team here in Korolyov. You can see in the upper left-hand quadrant, that is uh, the Poisk uh, docking port to which the Soyuz will be linked uh, to a short time from now. In the lower left-hand corner, you see the distance, 162, that's meters, and the uh, range of approach, uh, the rate of approach, about seven-tenths of a meter per second. I can see approach, approach. Okay, are we in final approach? 150. Copy. Enter. So you can see S-17. S-17. At uh, Mission Control in Houston, the visiting vehicle officer reports uh, that uh, the Russian flight control team was happy uh, with the alignment of the forward docking probe with the Poisk module. And uh, without further ado, Anton Shkoplerov was given the go-ahead to enter the commands uh, to initiate final approach a bit ahead of schedule. Distance now at just over 100 meters to docking a rate of closure just six-tenths of a meter per second. So the Soyuz now on final approach. That would imply that we'll be docking slightly ahead of schedule today. The range is 100. Range rate is minus 0 0.6. And the target is in the middle of Veska. Uh, according to the estimates, the range is uh, compliant with the expectations. A copy. It's corresponding. Range 75, range rate is minus 0 0.4, and the target is within one cell. That's compliant with the estimates. 
Далее 7, здесь вот скорость минус 0.35. Принято. 70-035. And you can see uh, the engineering crosshairs. Uh, that is uh, governed by the CORE's automated rendezvous system. Completing uh, the fine alignment uh, to the docking target on the Poisk module, just 60 meters separating the Soyuz from its uh, destination and the new home for Dan Burbank, Anton Shkoplarov, and Anatoly Ivanishin. The core's uh, antenna should be retracting just a few minutes from now at a distance of about 35 meters. We are monitoring using the S T. We are monitoring, confirm. We see that the probe is out and the latches are ready and the transfer compartment is closed. Copy. And I confirm along the overlay 1.5 cells. The visiting vehicle officer at Mission Control in Houston reports that the core's antenna has retracted as planned. Docking mechanism now powered up, 35 meters separating the Soyuz TMA-22 and uh, the Poisk module as the Soyuz and the International Space Station fly 248 statute miles over the South Pacific. The rate is minus 0 0.2, and uh, I can see the target on the two cells, and the crosses are matched, crosshairs are matched. Are the docking lights on? Yes, we confirm. The docking lights are on. 26 is the range. Uh, the target is within one degree of the center of the VSK. The R8 command is sent. Confirm the vector 8, and we keep monitoring. We see the RL base, 20 range. You'll be moving a little bit, but it's okay. Fluctuating. Uh, we see the target within one degree of the SK center. Copy. And you can see uh, that diamond-shaped docking target just underneath uh, the uh, Poisk module docking port on the space-facing side of the Zvezda service module. Now just 20 meters separating the two, closing at a rate of one-tenth of a meter per second, the two craft flying over the South Pacific. Okay. The target is going to the center of the VSK display. Range is 12. Copy. 10. The target is on the right. Half a degree to the right and up. Just five meters away now. Flight controllers here in Korolev and at Mission Control in Houston standing by for contact and capture. Upper by one degree. Copy. The target is going to the middle. Six is the range. Copy. Uh, the uh, cross here is aligned. Three, we are waiting for the contact. The target is uh, one degree below. I'm standing by for the contact. Copy. The crosshairs are aligned. The, 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 the service module probe is extended. 
and docking confirmed at 9.24 a.m. Moscow time, 11.24 p.m. Central time over the South Pacific. The Soyuz TMA-22 docked to the International Space Station with its new residence, a six-man crew reestablished at the complex. Uh, we are closing the RPV-1. The probe as service module probe indicator is off. RPV-1 is closed. We are closing. Okay, I'm going to the EP display. And with docking occurring uh, about nine minutes ahead of schedule due to the precise flawless alignment of the Soyuz forward docking probe uh, with the Poisk module docking port, the next step will be uh, the start of the retraction of that docking probe to bring the two docking mechanisms flush against one another for the initiation of hooks and latches forming a hard mate between the two vehicles. Again, the Soyuz TMA-22 docking over the South Pacific with the International Space Station at an altitude of 248 statute miles at 9.24 a.m. Moscow time on Wednesday, 11.24 p.m. Central Time Tuesday evening. Okay, do you see uh, the displays and the commands? Yes, we are. Car 6, car six is uh, being added. R6 command is sent. De deactivating TVS 10. R10 command was sent. We are deactivating the docking light. F18 command was sent. Uh, the propellant is 546. Uh, pressure in the pressure cone is 156 in the first one and 200 in the second one. So the electrical connector is connected, is mated. All right, we are expecting 13 value. One of the uh, technical uh, items uh, that uh, the Soyuz crew will be uh, engaged in as uh, the hooks and latches are commanded to close will be a test of uh, a repair that was made to the docking mechanism of the Poisk module in the wake of uh, problems that occurred uh, last year when Tracy Caldwell Dyson and her crew were delayed in landing uh, their Soyuz vehicle by 24 hours due to a, uh, an erroneous command that was sent uh, through the Poisk module uh, logic uh, and uh, computers. The crew ultimately had to install a jumper to bypass uh, a hatch lock indicator on those hooks in order to drive those hooks open and uh, depart the International Space Station. A subsequent crew uh, repaired the hatch mechanism and uh, that jumper cable was removed. Uh, today, uh, as the hooks are commanded to drive open by the flight controllers here in Korolev, the Soyuz crew will also send commands uh, through their control panel on the Soyuz TMA-22 to initiate the driving of the hooks and basically a test of the repair that was made uh, several months ago. And then uh, that will verify that that uh, repair uh, is complete and uh, no further problems will be encountered. Standing by uh, for further word on the initiation of uh, 
the retraction of the probe, which now is being confirmed by the visiting vehicle officer at Mission Control in Houston. The docking probe in the process of retracting. This will initiate uh, the closing of the hooks and latches and that hook closure test uh, that will be uh, commanded by the Soyuz crew to verify the repair that was made on the Poisk docking mechanism several months ago. Everything in good shape, a flawless docking uh, by Anton Shkoplerov, an automated docking by the Soyuz TMA-22 ahead of schedule at 